Papadopoulos Your referee the uh, representing of the, the Netherlands, Konstantinos Papadopoulos. So first thoughts is, once Round again, one. a height differential not in favour of the Japanese boxer, Callum. Yeah, two southpaws as well, two probably are going to be a clash of styles here, very s similar sort of sitting on that back leg, counter punches, probably gel, gel quite nicely this, I think. Yeah, the height difference is not as pronounced as they come closer, maybe an inch in favour of the Chinese boxer, what a shot that is! And the count is initiated early, Nishiyama has seen his Japanese counterparts come out and impress and he's looking to do that from the very first bell. Yeah, massive backhand there over the top from the Japanese fair. That's what you've got to watch out for when you have two south fours. You've got to keep that lead hand high because the backhand's coming over the top of that lead hand. There it is again. He's looking for that big shot over the top, the Japanese fighter. Yeah, big shots, early shots, sharp shots from Nishiyama. The Japanese in blue. Chinese fighter's recovered quite well from that because it was a big, big, big overhand over the top so he's got his legs back under him now and um, he needs to build his way into this contest because it's not a good start from him yeah heaviest shot we've seen so far this week has come from the light welterweight from Japan there will be an interested onlooker in Cameron Mackay of uh, GB boxing representing England this week he's fighting in this weight category we'll see him later in the week could well face the winner of this contest as Yivlaimu of China walks his opponent back into the red corner. Now he's starting to land some shots as well. Yeah, he's starting to work his way back into the contest here after after um, a bad start with that uh, with the shot over the top. Yeah, he's recovered really well because it was a heavy shot clattering into his jaw, which we'll see in the break between the rounds. There's another huge shot from the Japanese boxer up against the ropes. He possesses such power. Big left hand over the top again. He's looking for that every time because he knows the the Chinese fighter's got a low lead hand. He's open. Oh. Oh. Second count of the round. Brilliant work from Nishizawa. He's landing short lefts. He's landing long rights. And we box on with just under a minute left of this first round. It's been a clinic from the man in blue. Rocking the head back again. Needs to tighten up that defence, the uh, the Chinese fighter here. He's getting caught with too many eye-catching shots. Needs to tighten that guard up. His hands are low, aren't they? Yeah. He can drive a bus through those two hands. Oh, that's good defensive work from Nishiyama as well. Ducking underneath and trying to get through with the uppercut. Well, the Japanese have brought their A-game so far today. Stunning performances so far from the two that we've already seen, Satsuki Yoshizawa and Soshi Makino. Both got their wins, both through to the last eight. And in the first round, we've had an enormous performance from Shion Nishiyama, winning by a two-point margin on all five of the judges' scorecards. Let's have a look at those uh, two counts administered the first was a powerful knockdown Callum yeah the backhand over the tops landing landing at will for the Japanese fighter here um, heavy shot wasn't it yeah not quite the knockdown but if the ropes weren't there he might have gone all the way and then we had a standing count later on in the round yeah lovely little half a step back then a hoop backhand there pulled him into range and then counted him as he, as he fell in over his front foot So the gold medalist round. from Mongolia in September on the world boxing circuit. Japan's Shion Nishiyama is up on the judges' scorecards with a couple of rounds left. Up against China's Mamuti Yiblaimu. And again, you can hear coming through the ringside microphones the power of those punches landing. Yeah, trading backhands. Uh, let us see his gel quite nicely when you have two self fours both looking for the same sort of shot both looking for that backhand over the top of that low lead hand but um, the Japanese fighter seems to be landing it a bit more convincingly yeah red landed a punch but immediately one came back and another strong left from Nishiyama in blue 
Japanese fighter just needs to tighten up that lead hand a little bit. Obviously, the, the, the backhand's coming over the top every time for the Japanese fighter. It, if he implements a little bit of defense into that, he could, he could um, counter off it. Is that overconfidence from what he's seen? He feels that's not going to be ruled a knockdown. That's two boxes getting tangled up. Yeah, just just like I say, they both go, both got similar styles here, both low lead hands. Yeah, but the Japanese fighter seems to be a bit more sharp to the, to the shot. Yeah, certainly is very sharp to the shot. The man in blue is actually glancing up at the ringside uh, big screen just to see how well he's doing as they were in the clinch there. Oh, the Chinese boxer in red just trying to find his angles, trying to get through, but Ishiyama is defending well as as well as throwing the more powerful shots in this contest. He's got his opponent in his own blue corner. Yes, neat single shot from blue and another with the backhand right. Another Left, big sorry. backhand over the top there. Heavy shots coming in from the Japanese fighter. Made heavier, man. made heavier as the, Jap the Chinese fighter has sort of fallen into the shot as well, which probably doubles the power a bit more on it. So two men from the southpaw stance leading with their right hands and the power backhand coming from the Japanese is causing real problems to his Chinese opponent. Yeah, good work again. He's so slick. Yeah, he's in cruise control now, the uh, the Japanese fighter. Just just so fending his way through the round. He knows, knows he's won this round quite comfortably as well, I think. Better round from the Chinese fighter, but I still go for the, the, the Japanese fighter. Yeah, he just looks so confident. He keeps glancing at that big screen away behind us, Callum. I'm not sure if he's admiring his own work or if there's a, maybe a clock on it trying to see exactly how long's left in the round ah he'd be looking at the time won't he he'd be checking how long he's got left so winning all five judges just by the single point in that round so less convincing margin of victory but he has opened up a three point lead on all five of the judges scorecards so he's given himself the opportunity now he can pretty much so long as he stays out of trouble do what he wants for the next three minutes yeah I don't think that'll be the case so he'll probably come out look for that big backhand again still over the top um, he, he seems to like that shot and uh, it, it's working a treat for him in this boat this is the untidiness where they both hit the canvas nothing but a slip and a trip from the two of them seconds out Third so wide margin round. lead for the Japanese boxer Shio Nishiyama in the blue up against China's Mamuti Yibai Emu of uh, China in red. So it's all experience for all of these boxers, boxing on the international stage, boxing away from home, learning what it's like to travel, train in different places, different parts of the world. Terrific shot from the Chinese boxer is way down on the scorecards, but still a live dog in the fight. Yeah, these fighters are living the dream, traveling the world, doing what they love. Um, it was a massive part of my life, traveling around with GB for, for the past six years. So with all your mates, I training, it. eating amazing foods and boxing, brilliant talent from all around the world. What a life. Probably not eating amazing foods, actually, can <laughs> I imagine? <laughs> I'll stick to the diet. Sharpie after the Japanese fighter. He's, he's not looking to cruise through this round. He's looking to put the pressure on and, and, and assert his dominance in, in this round. Yeah, and there is dominance, as there has been in all three of the rounds so far. Dancing out of trouble and landing at will. Good little check hook there from the Japanese fighter. Comfortable on that back foot as well. Starting to express himself in there as well now. In those dancing feet moving. 
Oh, look at this. Doubling up on the jab. So slick. Exhibition stuff, this, from the Japanese fighter. Yeah, this is really good. Minute left of the contest. Contest dominated by the man in blue. Still the slick movement on the defensive. Low hands now, oozing confidence. That's a good shot from the Chinese boxer who's slowed right down and he's taken a bit of punishment in this fight so you completely understand that but he is still throwing some meaningful shots as we head towards the final bell. Yeah, I think he's still trying to keep it competitive but the, uh, the Japanese fighter is just cruising now, just cruising the victory, making sure he gets through it unshaved. Well, we've seen three Japanese boxers fighting back to back to back and they have been some of the most impressive performances of the opening day here at the World Boxing Cup Finals in Sheffield. Yoshizawa in the women's featherweight was a class act, so was Soshi Makino in the men's flyweight and we've just been treated to uh, an exhibition from Shion Nishiyama, the man in the centre of your screen. Yeah, three tremendous fighters there from Japan. Similar styles. This one was a little bit less flighty on his feet and a bit more sitting down on his shots, winging them big, big, big punches in, powerful punches over the top. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, about eight after three rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards where your officials at ringside score a unanimous decision victory in favour of your winner. Boxing out of the blue corner is Sean Nishiyama. Well, no doubt one to watch as the week wears on. Shion Nishiyama with the unanimous victory to make it a perfect three from three for Japan. Two unanimous wins, one split decision win. Soshi Makino in the men's 51 kg. And there is confirmation on your screen of, uh, well, the golf really in talent. I don't think it's unkind to Mamuti Yabalaimu to say that. He was in the contest all the way through. 